<clears throat> Christopher O'Hara's and Gabriel, and I hope I don't butcher the the pronunciation of his last name, Fonseca. Artificial number one. This is going to kind of be a bon malt video because I don't have a lot to say about artificial. There is a... Um, There's not a lot revealed in, in Artificial Number 1, and that's intentional, obviously, because Artificial Number 1 is is setting every uh, setting everything up for um, a subsequent reveal. So there's, there's not a lot to say story-wise, except to say that I'm intrigued. Uh, I, I picked uh, the perfect time to read Artificial Number 1 because I just watched Woody Allen's Midnight in Paris over the weekend about... Um, Owen Wilson finds a street that takes him back in time where he meets Hemingway and Salvador Dali and um, Gertrude Stein. And then uh, he, he finds a substreet of the... He, he went back to the 20s. He finds a substreet of the substreet that takes him back to uh, the Belly Pock where he meets Gauguin. So I've kind of been in a, for the last uh, 48 hours, I've been in a Gauguin mood. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well. I was a lit major, not an art history major. But th that said, it's, it's, it's put me in the mood to learn more about um, artists from our past. Uh, art, art, painting. Um, I've realized at this stage of my life, I know very little about art history. Which brings me uh, to artificial number one, and I hope I'm not spoiling this, but the main character is a uh, it is either Vincent Van Gogh or a Vincent Van Gogh type. Um, but he's clearly uh, in a, in a setting and a surrounding that leads to questions, which I'm sure are going to be answered in the. In the passage of time, so there's there, there's no point in me speculating about them too much now. But having the main character be uh, Van Gogh or a Van Gogh type intrigued me based on where my head's been at the last couple days. And the, um, the art is something else. I, I, the art is... Um, clearly, Tuttle doesn't know a lot about... Um, Art, so I don't know how to describe it, but I'll just say that this art is, uh, it's zany, it, it, it's wacky, it, 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 it's vibrant, it's it, it's in your face. I've never seen a style quite like this, uh, the art of Artificial Number One, so, you know, massive kudos to uh, Gabriel Fonseca, and once again, I hope I'm not butchering your name, but, uh, Man, his his panels just jumped out and slapped me across the face. He he has got a very distinctive style that I find very very appealing. Again, bon mot video. I'm sure there'll be more to say once I've read Artificial Number Two, but I'm sufficiently intrigued that I will be keeping an eye out for it. This has been Tom Tuttle. <laughs>